Welcome to the Standard & Poor's Consumer Retail Healthcare REIT and Capital Goods Week in Review. I'm Bob Schultz, Managing Director, Corporate Ratings. In the consumer products sector, we raise ratings on one company following its emergence from bankruptcy with less debt. We forecast credit quality in the consumer product sector will modestly deteriorate in 2016 because of slower economic growth in developing countries and consumers' cautious spending and changing tastes. In the healthcare sector, Ratings were unchanged for one of our larger hospital systems despite weak fourth quarter earnings as we had, had anticipated that the benefits from the Affordable Care Act would begin to subside. We downgraded one smaller life science company due to poor performance, which we think is an isolated event and not systemic to the industry. Finally, leveraged M&A activity continued to support our modest negative bias in the sector. Turning to the retail and real estate sector, rating activity was light with a negative action in the healthcare REIT space based on a key tenant's weak performance. We also commented on why last month's okay retail sales did not brighten our outlook for 2016. In capital goods, rating actions were mostly negative involving two companies in the triple C category that we think have heightened default prospects. And to highlight the rating actions during the week, we raised the ratings on corporate risk holdings in Berry Plastics, Outlook is negative for corporate risk holdings and positive for Berry Plastics. We lowered the ratings on Ortho Clinical and WS Packaging. The Outlook is stable for Ortho Clinical and negative for WS Packaging. Lastly, we placed the ratings on Physio Control International on Credit Watch Positive, while ratings on Sprint Industrial and HCP were placed on Credit Watch Negative. For more details, please see Standard & Poor's Global Credit Portal. Thanks for watching this update.